Okay, True Believers, it's been a couple of days or like a week since my last upload. We've been busy with school and it's the last two, two weeks of school, right? Yeah. And we and what what was really kept in, keeping us busy was get, was getting ready for prom. We, just, we finally had prom and we've been recovering from it this week. So we finally got a chance to do some exercise and do some biking. And we meant to do biking before, but like I said, for like the last three weeks, we've been busy with school and getting ready for prom. He, he was, he participated in the, the their first JS prom cotillion program dance, right? Yep. And it was a success, success. His dance partner was perfect. And what happened when you're what happens when you're practicing with somebody for they were practicing for three weeks and seeing them on a regular basis you start developing feelings for them so of course at this age it's really easy to fall in love but at this i mean what what do they really know about love at this age other than than puppy love but it's it's still feelings regardless of what age it is but anyway in the meantime the the prom was a success he had a great time I, at least he has that memory. I know there's some people watching this that never went. I, I actually went to my prom. I actually went through the experience of asking a girl out to prom. And there's actually a video online of me and prom if you look hard enough. Uh, it's not on my website, on my, on my channel, but it's somebody else's channel if you look in where my hometown was. But anyway, uh, Hero ended up becoming uh, with his dance partner. They kind of became like a pseudo uh, since she didn't have a a prom date and he didn't have a prom date they just kind of ended up with each other by default i mean not officially but they had their first dance and it was a great experience and what do you say would you do it again yes i would do it again in the heartbeat but you heard it there first anyway uh so here we are i wanted to do a sample of uh, where he's at he's like he could have started biking sooner he's been doing stationary bikes but like i said it's been we've been busy for the last three weeks and just to show you it's so it's about three and a half months here's his surgery knee just to confirm that look he's got his scar right there so this is post-surgery knee he's got his other scars over there as you can see and we're, i'm going to demonstrate how he's going to ride his bike i have the seat pretty low so it's not that high so demonstrate to us how uh, the carbon fiber bike over there without the kickstand is is on the ground but that's okay so he's gonna demonstrate to us how he can ride a bike now after three and a half months of ACL reconstructive surgery so just circle around here so that's hero riding a bike for the first time after ACL surgery he's coming along well and what I'll probably do next is his, he's gonna be running. So we're gonna start running pretty soon after this. So he's, like I said, he's been doing the stationary bike with no problem. So doing this is, well, it just takes a while for him to get his confidence back, of course. Keep riding. To, like with everything, using, trusting his knee again after the, cause ACL reconstructive surgery you have you go through like several dramas you go through the first trauma which is the actual injury itself and then you go through the second trauma which is the surgery itself and that's a long trauma in itself I mean for three and a half months ago he couldn't go to the bathroom by himself by himself he couldn't go down the stairs for two weeks he couldn't go to school so now three and a half months later time that's what's that's what's good about time is it's constant it constantly will keep going and eventually his knee will heal and look it's progressing to the point that we can he can bike ride again he's not going to be jumping off hills or going down mountains very fast this is usually what, we'll, what we do just for his knee rehab and exercise but that's good enough for our purposes is this mountain bike too much no not really because there's a lot of hills here so the definitely the gears Having the options really make it easier for to go up the hill. And this is a magnesium alloy bike, so it's fairly light. It's not the lightest bike in the world, but it's fairly light for our purposes. 
so that's where we're up to in his knee rehab he's coming along very good his knee is slowly getting strong and he's slowly getting confidence back in it and in two months i think we're going to start reintroducing him back to football training it's not going to be like 100 percent like it was before with his injury but at least he can somewhat start joining so his knee can get acclimated to football again and so right now we're going to do we're doing bike riding running jogging walking and he's also getting into boxing he was before the pandemic he was into he was he started getting into boxing so we're gonna get into boxing again uh, just to give his exercise and his knee some variety so you'll probably see start seeing some boxing footage soon also but for now it's hero riding his bike with his post-surgery knee three and a half months later and just to show you that he can ride the bike fairly easily with no pain as you can see he's got full extension full flexion like I said he's got the seat down pretty low so uh, until he gets full confidence on his on his knees that way in case he needs to stop or get off the bike or he could easily reach the ground other than that everything is, has been great school is almost over his he's almost finished with junior high school uh, he's he's had a great experience we are actually I think going to be achievers for the third uh, quarter in a row I don't I mean to jinx it if he does he should be getting award an award at the end of the year and he's also got the exemplary conduct award the ironic thing is that he got a warning for uh, what is it uh, his haircut but what is it a, a conduct something conduct on becoming because of his haircut uh, his his haircut because his apparently his his fade wasn't allowed he, I would cut his hair and put a nice fade in it but it was too uh, it was too clean cut so and they said that fades are not allowed whether they enforce it really it's kind of a judgment call but his fade was on the bird on too much on the side of it was getting too much attention his fade so that's why they said okay you're gonna get a warning for for something hair so I haven't been cutting his hair to the point where he was getting a lot of fades okay but that's the update with hero <laughs> flies we'll see you guys on the next vlog so we'll do more biking and pretty soon sooner rather than later we'll be returning to football Okay, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. This is Bell Tony.